I am on the boys' tour bus, and I am gonna ask Hey June, what's his plans after American Idol? Hey June! So you do a lot of joking, but I'm a comic, and I know with every joke there's some truth. And you are the only one that, that kind of repeatedly say, "Oh, lonely, lonely." I just look out the window, lonely, ha ha. But obviously, you must. Oh yeah. There's uh, always people are watching us, and they think we're having the best time of our life. True. Who get to go around the world and sing in front of thousands of people? But there's a downside of it too. Thousands of people scream out your name after meet and greet. Just wanted to have hold your hand, wanted to talk to you, and all that. Who's your favorite idol? He's young. Once that whole thing is done, you just go back to your square foot hotel room by yourself for and sleeping on your own for eight nine hours. What it is? Are you used to being around your family, and this is the first time you've been apart? For me, I'm a family guy, and I I, I tend to have my family as my priority all the time. Career always comes later for me. This is career. Um, in order for me to support my family, career has to come first. But I'm not like that. I, I miss my family a lot. I miss my uh, friends a lot. And people can watch this and thinking, oh my god, he's complaining too much. I don't think so. And he's like, oh, he's just so arrogant. You know how how can how can he have a life like that and complain how lonely he is? But you can never understand. A type of loneliness that we go through every day if you've never been in our shoes. What we do all the time, get on this bus and thinking about what's gonna happen to us tomorrow, what's gonna happen to us after the tour. We are reality's TV star. We are a singer, but then it comes down to true. Is this fame is really going to cost me a fortune or is this going to be just done after when the tour is over? All of us are great singers. All of us have very really? top talented. If if we didn't have this expensive five star hotel, five star treatment like this before, and then we just go on that level, like how people usually did, then we didn't have any problem. But we just skipped the whole step, and we're now we're on that level. Now we're afraid of going downhill. So it's not really about enjoying the tour, enjoying the crowd, but more about. Is this ever going to happen later on? Also, when this tour is over, would I, when the bubble pops, would I still be happy? I'm not sure if everybody is thinking like that, and you wonder that the cheers just gonna keep going. Show me your love. I'm 23, which means my mom is like 50, my dad is 50 something, okay. and I, I don't want them to work anymore. Okay. And as an immigrant who came to the country overseas like 10 or 12 years ago we have a lot of debt and we have to do a lot of financial support and now is my pressure to do all that stuff so we get we get paid two once in two weeks right mm -hmm. uh I, we we automatically they they push uh they put the money on our bank account mm -hmm. and i checked my bank account and there was a lot of money because we worked so hard for two weeks and we got that paid after two weeks and next thing you know is the monies are gone and I called my mom, like, did you take all the money out? And she said, yeah, I did, because we needed the money. That's when it hits you. That's when it hits you. Like, you're not a star. You have a family to support. If you actually put yourself into, I'm t wearing a tour bus, I'm singing for thousands of people, millions of people, I'm gonna be a star, I'm rich. No, look back on your reality and see where you are, where you really, really are. So you really are the one that's supporting the family. You bring in the For family. now, I am. But were they supportive of singing? Because a lot of people like singing. You know, how are you gonna make money? I mean, or was it like it would be nice if you became a lawyer or a doctor? Or a doctor? <laughs> I mean, well, lawyers, doctors are all. I don't. I don't know. If they all were Asians' favorite. Yes, of course. I was. I think I was the only Asian person who's not really capable of studying. I'm not really good at studying or reading or anything like that. But. Um, I know what I'm good at, and I took the chance of it, and they support it from day one, and then I don't blame them for anything. Look at all, all the uh, the life they sacrificed for me, that wow. I just can't complain, you know? I, they this did a is, good job. They, they have, I, You're a good guy. I'm not even gonna blame on them. How can you take all of my money? Because that's they, what they're supposed to do. What are you going to do when the cheering stops and the curtains close for the last time? I'm just gonna keep on pursuing what, I'm, what I've been doing, maybe like 
going to going to be on TV and trying to okay. be, trying to make stuff. So acting, singing, yeah. all of it. Yeah, maybe go on YouTube. I have no idea. That's the thing. No one has no idea what's going on with their life. I mean, that's the fun of life. Thank you, Aju. Oh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to Channel 19.